All right, now that I got all the trolls' attention, we're here to talk about some firearm safety and safety storage. The good folks over at Blacksmith decided to sponsor this video and send over a couple of their budget safes. These are quick access steel boxes. You know, I know the, the well actually folks are already in the comments going, well, they're not actually a safe. Yeah, well, your mom didn't actually like you either. So there's that. Anyway, let's jump into it. Let me give you a quick tour of what we're talking about, and then we can have a broader discussion. Let's say somebody comes in and tries your passcode. But unlocking it turns it off. Thank goodness. As far as the lock mechanisms themselves, good sized bolts, these bolts do not move when you shut the door they're in place with these retract them close all set probably want to take the key out there you go usb port so if you run out of power you can still power it All right, the first major test. We've got a lever action in there. We move him over here. Can it take a full size shotgun? And the answer there is no, not even close. All right, what about the second one? Could I fit a full size shotgun in here? And the answer is, well, yeah, actually I could if I wanted to remove this shelf. I could definitely fit a shotgun in there. Okay, test number two. Regular bolt action. Not with the shelf in there. Um, yeah, not happening. And this one... Yeah, that's no problem at all. I'm at a different bolt gun. Left, well, fit in there without a problem. How about my Winchester 308? Yeah, it really just depends on the barrel. So my Winchester lever action won't fit, but my Henry lever action will fit. My longer 556 won't fit, but my son's 556 fits fine. Actually, it's not 556. I take it back. It's 6.5 Creedmoor. All right, but let's see about pistols. Okay. This is my Taurus 22, little mid size kind of thing. Fits in there just fine. Um, little DIY number there. And if it's. Up in here, just fine, all right? One thing is, this is, they are pressure fit, so if you push on them too hard, they can move around. 
that you can see in there. My everyday carry, snug as a bug in a rug, and full-size DIY. Um, yeah, he's like, I don't think I'm gonna fit. Um, nope. <laughs> Let's see, oh, no, he got in there. I take it back. He made it in. So there's two things clamping in there, holding the, the pistols in. So that, that helps with that. And again, on this one, it's got the rear light. I don't have any batteries in this one right now. We've got the aftermarket light there. You got some spots there for, for ammo, whatnot. I mean, for a budget safe, it's not too bad. All right, the first one we're talking about is the their larger one here with, with the safe within a safe, as you saw there in the video. Honestly, I don't know if that makes sense for me. I know my wife saw that and thought it was the greatest thing you know, since sliced bread. She loves that sort of thing. Anyway, it, as I said, these are not huge gun safes. They are made specifically for light duty storage, uh, you know, storing some long guns, storing some uh, some handheld kind of stuff. And, and you know what? And anything else you want to keep safe, you know, you can do it in there. Are they fireproof? No. If you're going to store stuff in there and you're worried about a fire, you know what you do? You get yourself some fire safe bags. You take the item, put it in the fire safe bag, take that, put it in the safe. And voila, it's fireproof safe. Go figure. Anyway, and the fire bags are not, not expensive, like 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, you know, what? I'll try and put a link down below to some of the ones that we use. Anyway, so, you know, we got digital access quick. You got the, the key number or you can use the biometrics either way. And you can also use a physical key. So lots of ways to get into this. As I said, it's really just a big steel box with a with a lock on it. Uh, you get some decent storage. You're not going to be storing, you know, a ton of stuff in here. It is what it is. It's a light duty, budget safe, carbon alloy steel. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it, and I will say this, I was honestly surprised by the locking mechanism that it was fairly robust and I was pretty happy with it. Is it, you know, is it going to stop a, you know, a team of trained safe breakers? Probably not, but you know what? Obscurity, that's the number one thing. Security through obscurity. If they don't know you have it, it makes it a lot harder to steal it. So if you can put it somewhere, hide it, whatever, and then also bolt it down. Bolting it down means they can't tip it over. They can't get a pry bar on it easy. It's a lot harder to get into any kind of a box uh, if they can't just knock it around or walk off with it, better yet. And, it, and the more walls you can make contact with it, the better off you're going to be. So one wall is okay. A corner is really nice because then you can bolt into the floor and the other two walls, and it ain't going anywhere at that point. And if you can get it into a little nook where you're getting all three points, yeah, forget about it. Uh, anyway, let's jump back into it. So the the first one I showed you, the the, the bigger one with the safe in this safe, two hundred forty nine dollars, two fifty, two forty nine ninety nine. Uh, but also the uh, the guys over at Blacksmith, they sent over a discount code. We're going to be able to knock ten percent off if you're interested in that. And then for the other one, they've got the uh, the it's slightly smaller. Uh, it, it just there, I wish they were exactly the same size, uh, but you know this this one is about. I think it's like half an inch small or something like that. But if you really need to do like true long gun kind of storage, this is the one you want to go with. Honestly, between the two, this would be my pick. My wife would choose the other one because she's a little secret squirrel and she likes her little cubbies and stuff. This one's just fine by me. I could put some long guns in there. I got plenty of pistol storage. I got some accessory storage, stuff like that. It's got the same kind of locking mechanism. You got the, the keypad. You got the, uh, the, the, the thumbprint or fingerprint. I use my, thumb, my thumbprint. I found it easier when you're walking up to it to place your thumb on it than to kind of get my, my wrist underneath and put another finger or something else on it. So anyway, that's the way I went about it. Uh, and you can store multiple uh, fingers, I believe. Uh, and also when you do it, and let me go back, I know, I know. When you do it, also don't just scan one part. It allows multiple scans, so like the tip, the sides, all that kind of stuff. That way, no matter what direction you're coming at with it, it, it gets a better scan of it. Uh, anyway, this one's coming in at 220 knock another 10% off of that. Uh, that's going to take $22 off of that. That's going to be sub $200. 
honestly, most the the way things are going with the market these days, that your typical like with just a key metal lockbox is running that much. Go and look how much a, a, one of the other brands is one of the big name brands that we always, you know, everyone always thinks of when they think about getting just a metal lockbox. This thing's a, a you know a step up from that. Yeah, does it lock? Yeah, does it have a key? Yeah, but it's also got a digital keypad. It's got the biometrics. It's got more storage on the door than I've seen in a lot bigger safes as well. Uh, and you know what? This company, it's building itself a bit of a track record, doing some decent stuff. Is it high end? No, it's never claimed to be. Uh, it, am I going to keep family heirlooms in it? Well, maybe during hunting season. I mean, that's kind of the way I'm thinking about it. That's You got to think about what your use case scenario is. Are, if you're on a super tight budget and you want something that will just make do and get it done, this will do it, all right? Uh, if you've got like a, a secondary storage area, like at my shop or at my studio during hunting season, I, you know, hunting, we mostly hunt in the morning and in the evening. We don't really hunt middle of the day because all the deer are bedded down. So what we'll do is we'll go out and we'll go first thing in the morning, then we'll go back. So rather than leaving all my stuff in the truck, we can take it inside. I can lock it up. We can go to lunch. We can relax, come back, load up and go back out for the evening round as it were. Uh, and you know what? I just like having this stuff around. Maybe I want to, I get a wild hair up my backside. I want to go shooting for the day or something like that. I can be like, well, you know what? I got a couple things at the shop. I can just go. So I, I, for me, it does make sense. I was actually funny enough. I was actually just talking to the missus about, Hey, maybe I should get another one of these like budget five, $600 gun safes, uh, for down at, at the shop. And, then blacksmith called, you know, contact me and showed me these. I'm like, this is way better. It doesn't take up as much space. Uh, it's easier to move around. Uh, and I'm, I don't need a, a giant gun safe. So there's not everyone needs it for every solution. And not every solution calls for a giant Liberty gun safe that where you spent 10 grand and they gave the combo to the government. Oh, was I not supposed to say that part out loud? Oh. Yeah, I know. I bet their butt hurt about that. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying. Point is this. There's different levels of security. There's different levels of access. There's different, different levels of need. Not every solution is right for you, but this is going to be right for some people. It's right for the solution I needed. Anyway, I want to thank uh, Blacksmith for sending this over. I'm pretty happy with it. I feel confident keeping, you know, this is my, my 44, uh, what is this, Marlin. It's about a seven, 1977 Marlin. Yeah, I'm getting old, and yeah, I like my lever guns. It's one of the things that happened was either this or start wearing New Balance, and I wasn't going to wear New Balance. So anyway, there you go. That's all I got for you today. If you like what we do here, uh, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless, and as always, shine on.